Hello, and welcome to Lightware. In today's video, we are going to learn how to enable auto switching on our Taurus line of products. In order to enable auto switching, you will need to download the Lightware Device Controller, or LDC for short, as well as have access to a Taurus. To download the LDC, visit lightware.com. Let's begin. Upon launching the LDC, the device discovery page will load. Locate your desired Taurus and click on it. To locate your Taurus, match either the IP address, device label, or serial number belonging to your Taurus. Once you have located the correct Taurus and clicked on it, go down to the right-hand side of the LDC and click Connect. After a few seconds, the audio and video cross points page will load. Locate the output section of the video cross points. In this scenario, we are using a Taurus TPX 4x3, which has a total of three outputs. Two of those outputs are for displays, and one output goes to the TPX receiver. Each output is unique and configured separately. In this scenario, we will set up each output so that all displays auto-switch when receiving a new signal. To do this, click on the first output. To the right, you will see the information and data for the output populate. Scroll down until you see Auto Select. You will see you have three options. The first option is the default option and disables auto selecting. First detect will auto switch for the first detected video signal. It will then stay with that signal or host even if other signals are detected. Last detect will auto switch each time a new signal is detected. This is typically the choice made for most conference rooms. That way, if more than one person is presenting, the Taurus will automatically display the new person's computer when they plug in and that signal is detected. Let's go ahead and click on the Last Detect radio button to select it. If you would like to, you have the ability to set up priority levels for each port to wait the auto switch process. This could be used for rooms where you potentially have a room PC that doesn't need the same priority level as a BYOD laptop. You also have the ability to enable or disable the individual inputs and welcome screen from the auto select policy you are setting up. Once you have selected your auto select choice and entered any priorities or disabled any inputs you may want, click apply auto select settings. As mentioned previously, each output is unique and configured separately. In this scenario, we will repeat the same process for each output. You will now see a capital A displayed on each of the outputs, signifying that auto switching is now enabled. At this point, we have set up auto switching on the video switch side of the Taurus, ensuring the displays in the room will show the correct host. Now we need to make sure that that host also has access to any peripherals in the room, such as a mouse, keyboard, webcam, speakers, etc. To do this, click on USB at the top of the cross points. From here, click on the USB hub. As before, on the right hand side, scroll down to auto select. This should look somewhat familiar as it is similar to what we saw on the outputs of the video cross points only the options are slightly different. Follow video means the Taurus will give access to the peripherals to whoever is sending a video signal to the displays. This is a typical option used for most conference rooms. First detect and last detect work the same as they did on the video cross point section. First detect will auto switch for the first detected video signal and will stay with that signal host even if other signals are detected. Last Detect will auto switch each time a new signal is detected. Select the desired auto switch selection. If selecting Follow Video, enter a port for the video to follow. Unless you have a specific configuration where certain outputs are designated for certain hosts, such as a room PC being designated to output 1, leave the Follow Video port setting at 01. At this point, you can now enter priority levels and disable any inputs and or the welcome screen, if desired, and as long as you did not select follow video. Once you have selected your auto select choice and entered any priorities or disabled any inputs you may want, click apply auto select settings. 
As with the video outputs, you will now see a capital A on the USB hub, letting you know that auto switching is enabled. Congratulations! You have now enabled auto switching on your Taurus. Thank you for watching.